This is Linda Williams. Today I'm going to show you how to make an interactive activity using SmartBoard Activity Builder. The first thing I want to do is select my shape. I've made a shape there. And then I want to go up to this bucket icon so that I can fill the shape with a color. And then I select the cursor again and I select my font. I'm going to use this font and I'm going to make a text box. Write the word. Go back to my cursor. Here I've selected both of these objects. And the reason I do that is to group them so that they will be recognized by the smart board as one object, both the word plants and the rectangle. So now I have that one object. The next thing I want to do is go to the picture gallery. And here I want to put in the pictures I'm looking for. So I have this little plant. I can make it a little bit smaller if I want. I'm going to go over here and scroll down, and choose some other plants. And again, I'm going to scroll down and choose the plants I want. Again, I can adjust the size and move them to where I want them to be. I also want some non-plant items. I want some things that will not be accepted. I'm going to choose the chimpanzee. Again, I can make it smaller. And I'm going to choose the cardinal. And again, I can make it smaller. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the Activity Builder, which is this puzzle piece. I'm going to click on the puzzle piece, and it will give me several choices, and the choice I want to choose is Activity Builder. Now I'm going to identify the object that I want it to go to, and I click Edit. As you notice, the object becomes striped and shows that I'm going to be ready to receive the items that I want to program it to. So I'm going to drag my items. I've decided that this is a plant so I want it to be accepted. I'm going to drag it here and it doesn't go all the way. You can see the item remains where it is but the little picture of it shows up here. I'm going to drag my other plants And I can either hit Add All Remaining, or I can drag my chimpanzee and my cardinal to the Reject This Item box. So just to show you how to do it, I'm going to click the Add All Remaining, and you can see it added the chimpanzee and the cardinal. Then I also want to go to my Settings. When accepted, objects will, and I can choose, and I'm going to click Spin because I like that one. And when the object is rejected, it will bounce back. And then I hit Done, and you can see that my objects, the chimpanzee does not go in there because it's not a plant, and the plants spin and are accepted. When I'm finished with this, I can hit Reset All, and all of my items go back to where they were. I can also save uh, as an item on my Smart Board folder or on my desktop to use later. I can even put it onto a portable device like a thumb drive or a flash drive so that I can plug it easily into a computer to work. Um, so basically that is how you make a very simple 
interactive activity in Activity Builder.